Hey my friend, it does not matter where you're from or what gender you are, guess what? You at times feel the need to be loved. It was Brenda Lee who said in her song, Oh, I wish I had someone to love me, someone to call me their own. How I wish I had someone to live with cause I'm tired of living alone. Everyone at times feels the need for love, my friend. Today I want to share with you someone who loves you so much that he gave you heaven's greatest gift. The Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In John chapter 3 and verse 16, we find this fascinating story of Jesus speaking to Nicodemus, a church leader. Now in that time, church leaders, chief priests, the Sanhedrin, and almost all the religious leaders believed and talked that God's love is only toward a specific group of people. You know what that group is? Yeah, the Jews. Jesus in this story now reminds Nicodemus of an ancient experience with Israel operating and functioning with snakes. In Numbers 21 verse 4 to 9, we see that Israel's unbelief in God caused God's protection to be removed from them, hence giving the snakes access to destroy them. However, my friend, Jesus instructed Moses to make a bronze snake and place it on a pole. Whoever now looked upon this would be saved. And Jesus in John 3 verse 14 to 16, my friend, explaining the gospel to Nicodemus, says as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. For God so loved the world. Yes, my friends, God's unfailing love for you is so amazing that he provided the antidote for all of our struggles, of all of our struggles over sins and addictions. God loves us so much that he gave us all of heaven's best. Heaven's best is Jesus Christ, God's one and only son. Jesus is heaven's greatest gift to you. God chose the best of the best so you can have salvation and protection. Yes, you will experience love from your friends or others around you, but though we enjoy healthy love in the world, it's still stained by sin and shortcomings, right? But God's love for you, my friend, is perfect. It's unfailing and unceasing. It is not cultural, it's not ethnical, it's not national or racial, but God's love for you and me, it's universal. Jesus said to Nicodemus, whosoever, whosoever my friends, means whosoever. If you are struggling with your sexual orientation, heaven's greatest gift of love, Jesus Christ, is available to you. If you are struggling with self-worth or sinful habits, heaven's greatest gift of love, Jesus Christ, is available to you. You can be secure in God's love revealed through Jesus for you because he shows us, my friend, that he's willing to die for us. He shows us that he's willing to lay everything down so he can gain you. He showed that he is willing to leave everything so he can receive you. He laid down his life so you could have the best life. Jesus is heaven's greatest gift, my friend, to you. So talk to Jesus this morning. Talk to Jesus in the afternoon. Talk to Jesus in the night. Embrace him and shout for joy because you are loved by God and by Christ Jesus. No matter where you are from, whether you're from Africa, Jamaica, America, India, Canada, wherever in the world, you are loved by the most powerful being in the entire universe. No matter what others have said to you or is saying to you right now, Jesus, my friend, says, I love you. This is heaven's greatest gift to you. I would love for you to really subscribe to the channel 
We're seeking to grow more and more by the grace of God. And so I would like to continue to share these Christ-centered, practical, uh, devotional, and Bible studies as well for you so you can continue to grow in Christ as we are all on this journey of growing in Christ Jesus, our Lord, heaven's greatest gift to us. God bless.